from uh, Stars Mill, plays for Fayetteville. So let's roll his tape. Really impressive season. They uh, made it all the way to the semifinals. Right here, you can see just good clean pocket right there. Nice throw. <laughs> Leading his receiver in stride. Boom, here he is, just waiting. Nice throw on the outer um, boundary of the um, receiver right there, just avoiding the pressure. Another nice deep ball. Only where his receiver can get it. Okay, this is against Noonan. Here he is right here. Boom, getting pressure. Look where he lays the throw. Only where the receiver can get it. Again, on the outer part of where uh, the receiver is. And right here you're going to see a little bit of a uh, run. Boom, good job right there. Getting out of the pack right there. Um, not a lot of lanes, but look at him turn on the Jets. Turning into a very, very big play. I can hear his on fourth down. Look at the read option again. You know, just showing his ability to be able to, to read it well. Turn into a big A. This is fourth down right here. Nothing's there. Look at him kind of just show that pocket awareness. Find his receiver, throw a good little jump ball. Let him go get it. Same thing. Good job reading the read option. Blocked up well. Running right through the middle of the defense. Incredible run right there. Boom. Same thing. Look at him spin off. Keep spinning for the touchdown. I think we did an instant replay right here on it. So, way to break this down a little bit more. But nice motion. You're going to see right here. Boom. So, you got to read that D even right there. Break that tackle. Breaks the middle of the linebacker's tackle. And it spins off the safety tackle, turning into a touchdown. Not easy to do. Right here, it's a nice throw. I mean, double coverage, but very, very accurate. Getting the ball out quick, reading the defense. Let your playmaker do what he do in the open field. Same thing right here. Tight window. I mean, underrated how tight of a window that is. But you get it in between both defenders. Right here, rolling to the right. Throwing off the run. Good placement. And the reason I slowed that down was if he throws too far inside, that's a pick. So he has to throw it on the outside uh, near the sideline so the receiver can get it. And then right there, you see him go over top, leap over for the touchdown. Good job moving to his left right here. Another accurate throw on the sideline. Keep the chains moving. Big third down right here. Here's pressure. Guy's coming. You're going to keep the play alive. Boom. Accurate throw. Only where his receiver can get it. So good job under pressure. Good pocket awareness so far. Another read option using his legs. Boom. So we turn that into a big game right there. Slow this part down. Okay, I'm going to have you go back to that, Craig. I think I reason I was impressed with this play right here. Okay, so you're going to see the edge crash down. So really, so it's a two-thing man right here you can go. So you can go to the receiver right there that's playing at the, um, at the X. But he does a good job right here, I think, of selling it. Acting like he's going to throw the bubble screen and hit to the receiver over the middle of the field in another tight window. So you're going to see it. Boom. Look at him fake right there like he's going to do the bubble screen. Boom. And then fill the defense. Hold the linebacker just enough to go over the middle of the field. Great play right there. Holding the defender. Big third down right here. Scroll uh, rolling to his uh, left. Nothing's there. Look at him go take off. Make a big play with his legs. First down. And the same thing right here. See? Bouncing off tackle. It's taking multiple to bring him down. Still going. Still running. Okay, again, and I'm going to have you uh, uh, play this one more time, Craig, on this one. Just, again, another tight window. Boom. Pause it right there. So, again, he has to throw this high because the safety is right in the middle of the field. You see how they're playing. It looks like a cover three, but the, the safety knows this is going to number five, right? So, he does a good job getting it out quick, but getting it high enough. If it's too low, it's a pick six. There's nobody else there. You can see he's going to turn into a pick six, but the good job throwing it high, getting it to only the receiver can get it. Boom, right here. Here comes the safety. That's a pick. Look where he throws. Only way where he can get it. Receiver does a good job adjusting. Coming down with the catch. That's pretty big time. And then, boom, pressure's coming. Good job getting it out, hitting his receiver. Phenomenal play right there. Boom, here, same thing. Look at him roll out. Throw it on the line. Big time throw. Here he's rolling towards right, looking downfield. Boom, right there on the sideline, big-time throw. And I think this is the last one right here. Good job getting it out quick, reading the defense. 
making the throw. So I think what stood out about his tape was just ability to fit it in tight windows as well, uh, ability to extend plays, use his legs um, as well. And then, like I said, some of those windows are tight. Sometimes you'll see the coverage will be better uh, than the routes that you have run. So that that's when those pinpoint throws really, really matter. And I think you're seeing that throughout his tape and him being able to do that. His ability not to be able to go down on the first contact. He's very young. And they play some meaning football out there out of Stars Mill, right? They made it really deep. I had took them to, to beat Perry. Uh, they unfortunately came up with a loss, but the kid can play. That was just his mid 